visualizing data with charts. Data engineering can be the most time-consuming process in a project. ArcGIS Pro consolidates the data engineering process into a simplified user experience. Data Engineering Workflow Data engineering is the process of preparing your data for analysis. It is an iterative process that involves using a variety of tools to evaluate, visualize, and prepare data for GIS workflows. Following the data engineering workflow can help you better understand your data and prepare it for GIS workflows. The following table lists and describes the three steps of the data engineering workflow. 1. Evaluate data. Determine the readiness of the data for the analysis that you will perform. Evaluate the contents and quality of the data, examine each field's data type, and use descriptive statistics to inspect data quality. 2. Visualize data. Explore your data through charts to reveal patterns and trends. Gain insights about the characteristics of your data. 3. Prepare data. Ensure that your data is ready for analysis. Use geoprocessing tools to clean the data. Construct new fields, integrate data from other sources, or format existing data. Data engineering begins with evaluating the quality of your data. Determining data quality is performed in the context of your standards. While general data quality indicators such as completeness and accuracy are commonly used, you ultimately determine what is satisfactory to meet your analysis needs. Evaluating data at specific locations or containing specific attribute values is a powerful way to evaluate the quality of your data. For example, if many traffic accidents in a layer containing null values are in the same area, a spatial process may be at play. Perhaps data collectors are unable to safely capture data while at the crash site in that area. Data evaluation techniques enable you to ask and quickly answer questions about your data and its quality. Evaluating data requires you to be curious about the contents of your data and the patterns that may be present. Potential areas of exploration that you should consider when evaluating data using data engineering. 1. Attribute Table An attribute table is a tabular file that contains fields of information related to each feature in a layer. Field types, being text, numeric, and date, determine how data can be used. Review the attribute table to ensure that it contains the fields of information that you may need to answer a specific question. 2. Attribute fields. Attribute fields determine how information about each feature is recorded. Fields that have been populated with complete and accurate values are frequently used to complete GIS workflows. 3. Symbology. Symbology allows you to visualize the distribution of the attribute data, revealing the spatial distribution of features and values. 4. Charts. Create charts for a layer to visualize the data distribution, which can reveal patterns and trends that might exist in your data. 5. Statistics. Statistics can describe your data to help you make quick decisions about its structure and quality. Rather than reading individual values to familiarize yourself with data, you can use descriptive statistics to help you understand the distribution of values in a layer's attribute fields. Each statistic has a specific meaning that is useful for evaluating the quality of your data. 6. Selection Tools Use manual, tabular, chart-based, and spatial selection tools to evaluate subsets of your data. Calculating statistics and creating charts for subsets of data can help you explore data quality and better familiarize yourself with it. Evaluating subsets of data can facilitate data exploration and unlock more insights about your data. Visualizing data with charts. After data evaluation, the next step of the data engineering workflow is to visualize data. Charts tell a story about your data, and visualizing data makes it more comprehensible to the human brain. Familiarizing yourself with your data is crucial when preparing for analysis. Charts can reveal characteristics such as patterns, trends, relationships, and structure in your data. The purpose of using charts in the data engineering process is to determine 
whether these characteristics are appropriate. A pattern becomes visually recognizable when counts of values in a field repeat. In this example, three wedges of the data clock consistently have higher values, dark blue, suggesting a pattern in how this data is distributed. A trend is visually recognizable when values are steadily increasing or decreasing in one direction. In this example, the value is steadily declining, suggesting a downward trend. A relationship in data is the connection or similarity between two or more fields. In this example, you can see a consistent relationship that shows how the values in one field decrease as the values in another field increase. A relationship characterizes how the values of fields respond to one another. Structure is how values are distributed. It can refer to how many high values and low values there are. Structure can also refer to how values are distributed when split by another field, which can help provide a detailed visualization of how your values are distributed. In this example, the values of four features vary when split by a field with three values. Categories of data preparation methods. The last step of the data engineering workflow is to prepare your data for use. Evaluating the quality of your data through statistics and visualization with charts can reveal ways that you need to prepare your data for analysis. You have likely performed data engineering tasks to prepare data. These tasks can include projecting data into a different coordinate system, deleting or filling null values, and calculating new fields. There are different approaches that you can implement to ensure that your data is ready for use. You can use data engineering tools to clean and prepare your data. A subset of geoprocessing tools is available in the data engineering view to help you prepare your data for use in a map or an analysis. These tools are grouped into the following categories. Clean, clean the data. For example, you can remove unnecessary fields. You can also modify the fields or fill missing values. Construct. Create fields that are derived from existing fields or properties of the layer. For example, you can add and calculate a new field, standardize, transform, or reclassify an existing field, and add a field based on the input layer's geometry. Integrate. Integrate or add data from another data source to the input table or feature class. For example, you can join fields or add fields by enriching the data. Format. Change the format of the fields or reorganize the fields in the table or feature class. For example, you can convert time fields, encode categorical fields, or reduce the dimensions of existing fields.